hello welcome today we're going to talk about themes okay so we're going to talk about wordpress theme specifically ocean wp now we're going to look at the settings of ocean wp that is um the um the customization settings we're going to talk about the header and then the footer that is all what we're going to talk about so how to customize um you know ocean wp settings and footer so if you are new over here i'd like you to like and subscribe to the channel if you are also an um you know um, an old subscriber who is part of our community over here i would also like you to like and share the video so that people will, would recognize this channel and then this channel will become a very big channel now let's jump into the video so um first of all we're going to talk about how to be able to install a theme okay so we're going to install the ocean wp theme and then also activate it and then we we'll look at the how we can be able to uh, customize the theme to suit whatever we want it to, uh, to do so we're just going to talk about the customization settings so um we will dive into more about what each of the settings does and then i'll explain you to you guys so that you can be able to uh, customize your theme um to make it you know more um how do i even say it uh, more or less like what you really want it to uh, to be okay so first of all let's um start installing the ocean wp theme so to install the ocean wp theme just hover on themes uh, appearance over here and then um go to themes now over here you see a couple of themes that has been what installed on the what on the website already already now for um for um those of you who don't know what themes are themes are basically files and folders which um you know um is the building block of your what of your design so it's it's basically the your whole design um which helps you to be able to what, customize or um you know build the kind of website that you want so um, they are basically files and folders which consist of um you know um style sheets and all kinds of graphics that you can be able to what um use it to build your what your wordpress um website or blog so to install a theme we just click on add new over here and then you're going to see the wordpress um you know theme directory over here so what we're going to do is um we are going to search for ocean wp okay now because it is a popular theme so as you can see under popular over here you see a lot of what themes over here okay now because ocean wp is a, one of the most popular themes on wordpress you definitely see it what over here okay but if you don't see it don't worry you can what you can search for it ocean wp so as you can see this is what ocean wp over here okay um all what we need to do is what click on install it is installed so we have to go ahead and then what activate the theme okay so let's click on activate okay very good so the theme is what installed and what activated okay so now that the theme is installed and activated now we are not done yet ocean wp works with what um a kind of plugin that you know add more functionality to the what to the theme itself and that is the ocean extra plugin okay so we have to install that ocean extra plugin also so that we can get more free um you know things to be able to what help us build the kind of website that we want so let's you know click on install and activate okay very good so at uh um plugin ocean extra is what installed and then what activated now you um you see this screen over here which will say that you have to what um you know allow um and continue but i'm going to skip it because um i don't want to you know allow this thing so i'm going to what just skip it to go ahead to whatever we are we want to do so um this is the ocean wp theme panel over here as you can see this is a theme panel a lot of things goes on over here okay now we are not going to talk about this one for this one you can you know go ahead and then um check all those um you know um things that you want to 
uh, check okay especially with the customize customizer over here you can what um you know um check and uncheck some of the things over here you can toggle toggle around and on toggle anything that you want to what you want to um you know um make it what active on your what on your website for instance the general panel the um you know the typography panel the top bar panel all those things you can what, toggle around it okay if you don't want it you can what um you know deactivate it okay that is it now that we are done with this place now of course ocean wp also comes with what um you know um demo um um demo demo teams okay already designed demo or teams so if you want it you can check out the demo um teams over here a lot of them you can import them free okay and then use it to what um to design um to start your what your whole wordpress just install the demo delete some of the things that you don't want and then you have a complete website on your own okay so that is it now that is not the point that is not why we are here what we need to do is to what um go through the customizer okay so to get to the customizer session of the what ocean wp what we have to do is what hover on what appearance over here now you see customize over here okay just click on customize okay guys so this is the customized what session of what ocean wp this is the customizer okay so over here you can you know customize any um, part of the what of the team that you want to what you want to customize and make it your own okay for instance we have the site identity um the menus the widgets the um you know home page settings typography um general options blog header um top bar footer widget footer bottom um sidebar and then what custom css or js okay so here you can add any um additional css that you want to what you want to add over here now we're going to take it one by one okay we're going to take it one by one now before we even you know take it one by one i want us to do one thing so that we can be able to see most of the things that we want to what we want to do i want us to create one page and then also create what um, a menu for what for this one so that we can be able to what, know whatever thing that we want to, we are doing okay and then see the changes that we want to what we want to um, see so to to do that i want to what um, go back to the dashboard and then i want to um you know go to um all pages okay now i want to what just create a page so i'll, I'll cl click on what add new and then i'll you know um cancel this one and i'm going to call the page home okay i'm going to call the page for home and then what i'm going to do is um I just want to you know just um make sure that i have some content over here okay so to make sure that i have some content over here all what i'm going to do is um i'm going to bring some you know dummy image uh, dummy content over there so let me go to google and then search for um dummy you know text generator okay dummy text generator and then i'll get this um lipson um dot com you know generator over here now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to copy um some of this you know uh, text over here so i'm going to copy um some of the text over here yeah i'm just going to copy it and then i'll come to this place and then over here i'm going to what paste in um you know i'm going to paste in my um dummy text over here okay so I'll paste in over here and then as you can see I have a lot of what dummy test over here okay now I can decide to add some images to it if I want okay and then also what I'm going to do is I'll go to page over here and then I'll add what um you know featured what image for it but then I'm not going to add the featured image I just want a you know dummy image for for it okay and then um dummy um you know content for it and then I'll go to the title over here okay and then i can decide to what you know display page title and then what um display page heading okay so if i want the display page title i just enable it over here and then if i don't want it also i'll do what i'll disable it so let me say default okay and then with the what the um you know the title style i'll go over here and then give it what an image what 
background over here okay and then i'll choose an image for it i'll select you know the image from my what my computer because i don't have any image on the um on the on the website and then um let's say i'm going to use um let me see if i have some image over here too that i'll use to show you guys what i'm talking about okay let me go to desktop over here and then i want to you know pick um let me go to hotel and then yeah i'm going to go to images over here and i'm going to pick any image so that you what you know what i'm talking about so i'm going to pick this image okay i'll insert it over here okay now set um you know as image over here and i'm going to get this one okay now the position um you can choose whatever i want i want center center the attachment i'll say what default um the repeat i'll say no repeat the size i'll give it what cover over here and then that um you know the background height okay so how do i want it i want it just um let's say 300 or let's say 400 okay so 400 pixels okay and then the title um you know the background overlay cap um, opacity i will say what 0 0.8 0.8 uh, is okay okay 0 0.8 is okay and then i also would um pick the color that i want i want you know dark color okay so i want this black color now after that i can decide to what publish it okay let me just publish it and then let's take a look at how the website looks like okay so this is how um it looks like okay this is how it looks like yeah so as we have this content now we can go ahead and then what you know um start um you know designing our our website using the customizer session now what we have to do is what also create some what some menus so i'm going to hover on um you know the blog over here and then click on what um, dashboard to go back to my dashboard okay now that i have um you know my dashboard i'm i'm over at my dashboard what i need to do is what just hover on appearance over here go to menu because i want to create what a menu um for my my what my um my website so i'm going to create my main menu over here and i'll assign the main menu to what to the main location over here and then i'll click on what create okay so um for those of you who don't know menus menus are what really um let me close this one okay and then open the website in a new link over here now menus really what um we have you can have what the main menu which will appear um you know on top of the header over here okay and then you can also have um the the footer menu which will also what appear over here you can even create another menu as what a top bar menu or whatever it is okay mostly you put what items on it menu items on it which um, people can be can use it to navigate around the what the website okay that is basically what the menus are used for so as we have created our menu we have to add item to items to our menu okay so i'm going to add this home over here and then also i'm going to add this home over here i'm going to add um you know some different thing i'm going to add some custom links to it because i haven't created some pages or posts yet so i need to add custom link so that my menu will be what will be very nice for me so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a pound sign over here and then i'll say this is what about okay and then i'll what i'll add to menu now put another pound sign here and then i'll give another menu as what menu item as what service services okay and then i'll also what add it to what to the menu over here then i'll come over here again and then add what um you know contact okay and then i'll add it to menu then i also come another one and then add what maybe blog okay oh sorry i'm gonna copy this one and then see what blog uh yeah blog okay 
and then I add it to what's menu. So let's say I have this what I have this um, you know menu items over here. Okay, I can decide to what, save it. I can save it. Okay, after what adding the items over there. Now my menu is what um, is added, and then if I go back to my WordPress, um, in my um, front page and then refresh it, you can see that the menu item is what is over here. Okay. Now let's go and then also do one thing before we start designing or customizing our what, our website going to the customization settings now let's go to um settings over here okay and then under settings we will go to what general okay now for those of you this is just a normal wordpress word settings okay now the title the site title okay so what is the site title so let's say my site title is what um you know kitech digital okay and then um what is the tagline your tagline is like your slogan okay so my slogan is what or my tag tagline is what web design and digital marketing okay so now after that i can what just you know save it okay that is the most important thing all those other things um you can set it on your own okay now that i'm done with this one now i want to what go to reading over here okay so click on reading over here now we're going to what um set up our home page to display what we wanted to what to display at the moment our home page is displaying what blog blogs okay or blog posts okay so we don't want it that way we want our home page to display the page that we created the home page that we created okay so that whenever anybody you know type in our website url into the browser it will send the person straight to our our home page okay so to do that you have to what um set it over here go to home page displays okay now you can click it um check the what the static a static page over here and then choose the home page that you want to display okay and then you can also set what a blog post so let's say we want this one to display what our blog post the sample post page to display our blog what post okay we set it and now we can what click on what save changes okay very good so now if we what if we refresh the website you realize that we're going to have the home page that we what we set up okay so that is what that is how the website works okay so now that we are down over here now we can go ahead to what the customization what um session to customize our what our um you know our um team okay so to do that let's hover on appearance and then go click on customize okay guys so now that we are over here i'm going to take you through all the steps one by one starting from site identity okay explain most of the things that um you'll be having questions about it what is this thing used for what is that thing used for all those things i want to uh, explain it to you so that you get um you know understanding about all the, the things that goes on in the customization with um, side of the website of the theme okay so now let's start with site identity now the site identity is all about what um, what identify your what your site okay so if you go over there it is what your ta uh, site name okay, or the site title okay and then the tagline you remember that we set this one up at the general settings of what of wordpress okay and that is it so that is your what your site identity now this one is what your site icon mostly the site icon appears over here okay now we can set it up now it has given you the what the um you know um the size that the site icon should have okay it should be at least 512 by what 512 pixels okay so now let's click on it and then go to you know upload and then click on what um select file to what to set our site icon so i'm going to go to desktop over here and i'm going to search for yeah i'm going to go to the folder where my site icon is in and then i'm going to pick this one as my what my site icon okay now select it now i'm going to say skip cropping because i don't want to what it to crop and then as you can see my site icon is what is now um, set up over here now if you look over here it is done now if i publish it the changes what we take it fit now if i come over here and i refresh it you realize that i will have a site icon what over here displaying 
so as you can see this is my what my site icon so the site identity this is what the site identity is all about this place is used to identify you the um the the website itself what the website does and then what this is also set your what your site icon now let's go to menus over here okay so we've already created our menu but you can still create menu from this place okay from this place you can create your own menu over here so this is the menu the main menu that we created so let's say we want to create another menu which is maybe a top what menu we can decide to what create it give the menu what a name okay so let's say we want to create what um top bar menu okay and then we click over here and set it as what the um top bar the location should be what top bar and then what we have to do is what just click on next and then we what we set up our what our menu so as you can see our menu is what is set up our top bar menu is what is set up now you have to add what items to it just like the way we did the other one okay you set it up and then you what you set um you know items to it so we can click over here and then you know add items to it so let's say um we want to what add you know um custom links okay so let's say i want to add a link which says what account okay i can add it to what the menu i also want to add another custom link which says what um contact okay i can add it to the, what, the menu i also want to add another custom link which says facebook okay i can also add it to what to the menu okay yeah so basically that is it so let's say we have what the this one done okay now after after everything i can just what publish it now as you can see it is what over here okay it is over here and that is what and that is it now let's go to what let's go back so this is how you can create your what your menus okay so let's go back again now as you can see um we have what we are done with what site identity and the menus now let's go to what widget okay now widgets um basically we place this 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 one gives you what um you know places whereby you can place all widgets from your what on your website okay so on the customizer side you can have a default sidebar which is what these are all what widgets which are placed in the what in the um you know in the in the in the sidebar okay now for me what i love most is what using what the um the um you know the classic widget okay to what uh, to showcase my what my widget so with the widget we'll come back later on and i'll show you where how you can be able to what um you know um place the widget on your website using the classic what the classic widget okay plugin now let's go back to what let's go to um home page settings okay now with the home page settings we did it at the what at the certain side of what wordpress okay but i'm still going to what take you through over here now this is where you set up your what your home page okay so you set um you know a page for your home page and then you set a page for your what your post page that is where all your post um you know items or your post will what will go okay your blog post will what will go and that is uh, the home page too is the first page people will see whenever they land on your what on your website so you make sure that you you set it up correctly and then you design it very nicely so that when people get over there they will get everything that they want and then navigate through your website with what with ease okay so that is it now let's go back again and then we go to a typography now typography controls all the what the font the size um you know the the size of the font um the headings and everything about your what your website okay the writings about your website this place controls everything of it okay so let's say we want to what uh, we want to change the body um you know the body font family okay so all what we want to you have to do is what select um the font that we want and then maybe you want um you know poppins okay so let's say one poppins you realize that it has what it has changed okay now if you change it to let's say uh, montserrat it will also what it will also change for you okay so that is what for the body what font so let's say the body font you want what um poppins okay you can select it and then the font width okay the width of the font you can choo uh, choose between all these 
um, you know, kind of what um, weight, okay? So just toggle around it, okay? So as you can see, 400, the normal size, look at how it, what, it has become a little bit bigger, okay? And then the font size or the font style, okay? So if you want it to be normal, italic, you can um, toggle between it. So if it is italic, this is how it becomes, okay? If it is what, um, the normal, this is how it becomes. And you can put it as what, at default, okay? And then the text transform. You can capitalize it. You can what, um, you know, um, make it an all lowercase. You can make it what, all uppercase. It depends on what, it depends on you, okay? I'm going to put it default. And then the font size, okay? So this is the size that controls the font. So let's say I want it to be 16, okay? Or maybe 12, okay? Or maybe 14. Depends on you how you want it. And then the line height is the what the um the the height in between all the what all the sentences or the lines. Okay. So from here to here, the height over here is the line what is the line height. You can what um just play around it. Okay. And then the font color. Okay. So if you want your font color to be let's say red, you can choose red. Okay. If you want it to be let's say green, you can choose green. Blue, you can choose blue. Um, you know, purple, you can what, choose purple, okay, depending on what you want, okay, or if you want it to be black too, you can what, choose what, black, okay, and that is what, the font color, okay, so, guys, this is how you can be able to what, play around the font, this is the body font, you can go to what, um, you know, the heading now, of course, you can go to general, okay, and then check the general what, style over here, okay, so that is what, with the general, okay, now you can also go back over here and then now you can check up the what the headings so the heading um let's say i want to change the heading to what monseret all headings to what monseret okay i can change all the headings to what monseret and then you know toggle and um, just play around all the other things over here and then i'll be what i'll be done with it so um i want to give it to what pure black okay and then um i'm okay i can just what publish it okay and then go back now let's say you know you can do everything okay now the most important thing sometimes i play around it is what with the top bar and then the, what the main menu and then all the menu what the menu um, mobile menu all the menu things okay and then maybe the page with title okay so let's say i want to play around with the uh, main menu okay now with the main menu i want um you know this one to be monseret okay and then the weight, the font weight, I want it to be 600, okay? And then um, the transform, I want it to be uppercase, okay? Just like this. And then, um, you know, the font size, I want it to be 15, okay? So it's kind of like bold, okay? It's kind of bold, which is what? Very, very, what? Very good, okay? So that is what, that is it. So I can just, what? Publish it, okay? And go back over here. Now with um, the top bar also, maybe I just want it to be what, um, you know, the same way maybe I just want it to be Montserrat. And then over here, I, the, the width, I want it to be, let's say, 400 normal. And then the, um, the text, I want it to be what, also uppercase over here, okay? And then um, I think the 12 is okay, and then maybe I think I'm done, okay? Now, if I don't want it that way, I can what? I can decide to what? Make it what? Default, okay? Just like this one, okay? But I want it to be, you know, uppercase, okay? And then I'll click on what? Publish. Okay, so now I'm done with what? The top bar and then the main menu. Now, you can go ahead and then what? You know, play around with this one. I'm not going to waste time over here. And that is how you can play around with what? With all the fonts. So, if you go over here, the footer side also, you know, you can what? Um, copyright footer copyright and then with footer menu okay you can just play around this is the copyright okay now um we will change the what the color over here so don't worry about it okay so um you know that is what that is the main you know the main um you know menu um font okay now let's go back over here after the typography we have what general options okay now with the general options it deals with the style the styling and then other general what um you know settings for the page title and all those things okay so let's go to the styling now the styling is all about what you know color color okay for this styling it's all about the color now you see this one this one says what primary color okay 
now the and this one says the hover primary color now our primary color we want it to choose what we want to choose this one okay for our what our primary color and then the hover we choose this one but we make it what a little bit what darker okay so that is how we want it now if you go to what the side background you can what, decide to change the side background anyhow you want it so let's say you want to give a side background as what as black you can do that okay let's say you want to make the side background as what this color you can also decide to what, to do that let's say you make you want to make it what blue you can what you can do that depends on how you want it okay so i'm going to set it to the default one which is this one over here okay so now that you have now you can also set what a background image for it okay so um when you go to what images and then um maybe i set this one as what as my background image i'm going to have something like this let's wait for it to load so as you can see this is what the background what image okay and you can what you can have a very nice what background image now you can what um check the position to be what let's say um center center you can you know make it what um fix okay so that it will be what it will be stuck in in it you can also um go ahead and then what um, play around it so no repeat the size you can make it what cover okay so as you can see everything works correctly okay and then that is how you can what you can you know play around with the what with the um the, the background uh, color so uh, the background okay so if you want to set use picture as your background make sure that you um you know edit the picture while using photoshop and then you know place it very nicely as your what as your background okay now if you go to um the color over here the length color over here we can change the length color to to what maybe this color so as you can see this is what a link okay anything which is related to link so as you can see everything what um you know changes okay so and then we can what um you know give it a hover of the same color but it should be what a darker what one okay so that is what that is it and then you can what decide to what, to publish it so i'm going to remove this you know background over there and then make it um just leave it to be like this okay so that is it so we can publish it now we can what we can go back over here okay and then go to the general settings okay so guys this is the general what settings how you want the layout to be and everything so if you want the layout to be what in a box you can what um you know make it like that okay everything will be what we box so as you can see it has what it has changed okay now if you want it to be separate separate means that the um you know everything will be separate 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 it wouldn't be what clumsy like this but it's going to be what the the um the sidebar will be separate the con main content side will be separate the header will also be what be separate so let's look at how it, it works so as you can see this is what this is the separate what side okay so if you want it this way you can choose this one and then you can what choose the outside what um the outside background okay so let's say you want the outside background to be what to be red okay so you can decide to what um you know make it like that let's say you want it to be not really red but let's say this kind of what color okay so let's say i want it to be this color and then i what i will um, you know reduce the opacity a little bit okay i'll bring it this way okay i just want it to uh, to match my what my you know my color okay so you can what you can do it this way it depends on how you want it okay and that is it so you can also um you know content pattern um widget pattern you know um main content um width you can set it up you know everything that you want you can what set it up and then pages okay how you want the pages to also be now as you can see this one has what um a sidebar okay i can decide to what to remove the sidebar from it by choosing this what this layout okay and then my page will come without a sidebar so as you can see there is no what there is no sidebar on the pages okay i can also decide to give it what a double sidebar over here okay and then you know just um both sidebar okay so i can decide to give it what a double sidebar okay now because i haven't set up a sidebar yet you realize that there is no what there is no sidebar working okay but if we set up our sidebars and other things 
everything what everything at the rigid side okay everything what will work for us okay so um that is it so if we set up both sidebar content width we can say maybe the content width should be let's say um 30 okay and then it will give us space over here space over here okay so both sidebars what width okay so let's say the sidebar width should be also what 30 okay it will also give us the spaces that we want that we want but i'm going to go back to what the layout this layout over here and we'll pick this layout with what a left what sidebar that is a default what sidebar okay so that is it now you can go to search result re, um, result page okay so um whenever you are searching something for um from the website the results page that comes okay that is a search results page okay now how do you want it to um you know do you want it do you want it to have the normal default one with the right sidebar the left sidebar uh, full width with no sidebar and this one is a full screen and this one also what both what sidebars okay so you can what decide to choose and then search logo okay the logo that you want to use for your search okay and then also a uh, mobile sidebar uh, um order how you want the what the sidebar to what to follow in the what in the mobile so um you can decide to what say sidebar first before the what the content or content first before the what the sidebar normally should be the content first before the sidebar and then we also have what open what graph now this is information taken by social media when a link is what is said okay so you can enable it and then you can what um you know put in your um you, a twitter user uh, you know facebook page and um, url and then facebook what app id over here okay so that is it so these are what basically the general what settings of our what of our website okay now let's go to back and then go to what the page title over here now the page title also you can what customize your page title um, change the heading you know the style everything that you want okay so for instance if i want to what um you know give uh, the text color as let's say red i can what do that okay over here as you can see it is over if i want to give it to what um you know this color i can decide to what, give it that color okay depending on what depending on you so i'm going to clear it to uh, you know let it come to a default okay and then you can do a whole lot of things so um this is what the bread um chrome okay now what does the breadcrumb does the breadcrumb is more or less like um a secondary navigation aid that helps users easily understand the what the relation between their um location on a page and higher level pages okay so um if you know you are on a different page okay um there is what um you know a navigation that comes under with the page title okay and that is what the bread crumb okay so you can also set it up over here and then how you want it and then you know the um translation for home page is home um translation for forward not found is what for for not found translation for set results for is set result for and then um the post taxonomy now when we say taxonomy it's a way of what grouping posts together based on um a select number of what relationships so um, an example of a taxonomy can be category tax okay all of them are our standard what taxonomy so category and tax are our standard taxonomy now the same way we also have what product taxonomy okay and that is those of us who are creating e-commerce what website okay that is what it and then we also have what the text color um the separator the link color and then what the link color hover okay so these are all um under what page what title okay you can do all these settings over here now if you are done just publish it okay and then let's go back now we also have what scroll to what scroll to top now if you enable scroll to top when you scroll down you realize that there is this um you know button over here when you click on it it will send you to a top that is basically the scroll to top what function okay and that is it so you can what um you know play around it okay so if you want the background let's say i want the background to be this color okay i can what i can have it and then um you know i can also um this is the background hover okay so let's say this is the background hover i'm going to what make it this one and this one is what the real 
background itself so as you can see um it works okay so if i hover on it it's going to give me a little bit about darker background of that color okay and then you know the um or i can decide to change the hover to make it to a, maybe white okay and then um the the hover color over here i'll make it to a, this color okay so when i hover on it over here it's going to make it like this okay and that is what the scroll to top button this is what it does okay so you can play around with the word the scroll to top also change any icon that you want okay make it your own and after that you can what you can publish it now let's go back over here and go to pagination okay now what is pagination pagination allows your users to um, page back and forth through multiple pages of what content okay so wordpress can use pagination when you are viewing list of posts when they are the post is more uh, post uh, you know exists more than it can fit on what one page okay so let's say you have a lot of posts blog posts on your website okay and you're viewing it on your what on your blog post page okay you realize that there is what some numbers over there you can toggle around to different pages okay and that is what the pagination and then we also have breaking um when you want to break up what long posts by mo mo uh, manually using uh, you know pagination tag in your what in your post so you can use pagination tag in your post whenever you are what writing your own what post or page okay you are creating your own page you can use the pagination tag in your post now it's a very sh um um you know simple uh, uh page with some other you know um, codes on it which says what next page okay and that is it now if you if you want to you know go into um this uh, pagination thing I'll leave a link over there so that you can what know how to be able to uh, do your own manually do your own pagination okay and that is it so we also have what um you know forms okay so with the pagination you can you know go and then do all the editing all the settings over here okay I'm not going to what, waste time on it we also have what forms input uh, text area okay so how you want it okay so whenever there is a form over there this is the default what um settings that will come with it okay you can also do your own defaults um your own settings on the form uh, plugin side okay but this is what the default settings that comes with it okay and then let's go to the theme buttons okay so um if you want to change your theme buttons okay so you can uh, do that so this is the uh, background color i want to uh, change it to it uh, to this one okay and then this one is what the background would hover i still want to change this one but i want to what, make it a little bit what darker and that is what did and then the color the hover color and then the what the color and the hover color itself okay that is it so after that this uh, place controls the buttons okay any button on your what on your website so that is it so now that you are done we also have the error um page that is the 404 page okay you can select any um you know logo that you want okay for it and then it will show over there okay so you can what just you know if you want a blank page you can just give a blank page okay you can turn it on to make it what just blank okay you can set your own 404 page and then you can even use your own what um you know template okay for it and that is it now also theme icons okay so this also controls the icons of the what of the theme okay so um, any icon on your theme you can you know the blog entry icons and then the what um the um how do you call it the single post you know icons okay so all these things are what controls the color of your what your icons okay so you can set between ocean S svg icons and then with simple icons or font or somewhat icons okay depending on you now let's go back to what seo settings okay now seo settings are very important in every wordpress okay now of course you can use the used and other stuff to, uh, to control your what your S seo but ocean.bp also makes it possible for you to be able to what uh, um you know co control your seo okay so um you can use what if you want to use featured image alt text on blog entries you can what take this one if you want to use featured image alt text on single post you can also what take this one and then if you want to use featured image alt text on single post uh, related items you can also what take this one okay now this one helps whenever somebody is searching for 
um, your content on what on Google okay so um, if maybe your page is slow and your image did does like you know it did not load okay the alt text will be displayed for someone to know that oh this is the image um, this is what the what the blog is what is talking about and that is what and that is it so let's um, go back over here and then we have what performance okay now with the performance over here if you want your website to what load fast and all those things you can toggle around this one disable and um, you know enable some of these things over here to be able to what, help your website to boost um, or load what faster okay and that is it i'm not going to waste my time so these are what the general um you know options that you want you have okay now let's go back over here and go to what blog so this is what this is blog so that with the blog if you uh, webs you have a blog on your website you can use this one to uh, to control the blog settings okay so um if you want to what uh, um you know at the all the element positions if you want to you know enable um, featured image title meta um content read more all these things you can what either check or uncheck okay so as you can see you can what uncheck all of them you can also what check all of them okay it's as simple as that the same thing applies to the meta maybe you don't want to show comments you don't want to show maybe date you don't want even to show what um after you just want to show categories okay so you can also do that okay and then the meta separator you can use anything to it you can do what check over here if you want it to be stylish you can do that okay now if you have um you know who cool with everything this is what the archive page the layout how we want it to be okay and this is also how it will appear on what mobile side and then the heading tag okay how do you want the heading tag to be do you want it to be h1 h2 or h3 or whatever it is it is what h1 over here okay and then add overlay on images image on image hover okay so when somebody hover on it and um, there should be an overlay on it just like this one over here have an overlay the same thing applies to what the blocks over there so um if you are done with it you can just you know publish it and then you can go into it deeper i just want to give you an insight over all how this um you know settings done okay now single post also settings you can also do all your single posts just like we did for the what the archive you can also do the same thing for it they are almost similar you can do the same thing for it i'm not going to waste my time over it now let's go back over here and then go to what the header okay now the header which um is the first thing somebody see whenever the person comes into your word on to log on to your website okay now when somebody um you know land on your website the person sees this header okay so this one is the header that is what we are talking about this one from here to here is the header okay now the header um you know if your header is nice people will like your what your website depending on how your header looks like okay so let's say you want to go to the general um styling or the general settings of your of your header now this gives um ocean wp have a different style for what for header okay so now let's toggle around this is the minimal the minimal is just a simple one over here now we can have what a transparent what header so as you can see this is what a transparent what header okay this is a transparent header and then we also have what um you can have a top menu okay just um you know top menu just like this one as you can see this is what you know the header or the top you can what um you know um do play around it however you want it okay and that is what it shows at the what at the top over here and then your if you have a logo your logo okay also what um will come over here or your site name will come over here. and as you can see this is uh, the site title you can also go ahead and then use what full screen okay if you want a full screen header you can what get it now as you can see this is what um you know the toggle over here whenever you click on it it gives you what a full screen what a full screen header just like the one on what on mobile okay and then you can what toggle to close it okay and that is it now you can also go ahead and get what um, if you want to center your header okay so centering it means that your logo will come in the middle and then you can what um, you know have different uh, menu from this side and then what and that side okay so as you can see if you scroll down over here 
you have what center header settings okay so you can what choose um you know main menu over here and then you can also what um you know have another so as you can see we have two different things over here okay so this is the main um you know menu and then you also have what another menu over here and then your logo will be what will be here now it become nice if your your menu you limit the number of menu items on the what on the menu okay so that is it that is what the center now you can what play around it and then do whatever thing that you want to do with it now you can also have the medium okay now the medium is also one of the um, coolest headers okay so as you can see you have a search bar over here and then the what the um the the the, the logo or your the site title over here and then the menu items over here okay you can also play around it the way you want it if you want it to be transparent you can also what um make it what transparent okay so as you can see it is okay so that is it now let's go to another one which says what um vertical now the vertical will appear over here okay so the vertical gives you a vert for those of you who want to what who want to you know um get a vertical what menu you can get this nice vertical what menu over here okay and um vertical header over here okay and you what you enjoy it so as you can see we have a very nice what vertical header very nice one everything works what perfectly well over here okay and that is what um vertical okay that is vertical so the vertical only shows what it only shows um the menu as well and um, the header as what uh, vertical it doesn't show the top bar to as what at vertical so as you can see everything works what perfect over here now um you know i just want to have what a minimal um header so i'm going to what go for what mi minimal over here now also going on to the header you can you know change the background okay so if i want the background to be let's say black i can decide to what um you know make it what black over here okay and then um if i want a you know a header border um bottom i can tick it and then change the border over here but i don't want it i just want it to be something like this okay so basically that is what my minimal what header over here i can decide to what, publish it okay and that is what and that is it now if i want to um if i don't want it to be what, to be black too i can what i can decide to make it what the default one over here okay and then i'll what i'll publish it now let me go back over here and then now that we are done with what our header we can come to uh, done with the general we can come to what the header image now you can decide to set a video you can decide to set a you know um you know an image for it and then also you give a note an overlay for the what for the image okay so whatever media that you want to set up um the video or what um you know um, a header um, image you can decide to what, set it up okay so you read the instructions very well before you what you set it up now let's go back over here and then go to logo okay so this controls the what the logo of your what of your website now the um, logo is the main logo for your website and then the retina logo is a two times higher version of your what your current logo so it will be displayed on high pixel um you know uh, density devices like uh, macbook those who have retina macbooks and then iphones and then other high-end with devices okay and that is where the retina logo works so sometimes uh, for me i just use one logo for all of them so if i want my logo i just go to upload and then you know um, click on select and then let me see if i can have um, a, a logo over here so let's say i want to use this one okay and then i'll select it i'll skip cropping okay and then i'm going to have what uh, my logo displaying for me over here so as you can see this is what this is my logo now i can control um you know the size of the logo by using the maximum width and maximum height okay so let's say i want the maximum width to be 220 and the maximum height to be what to be 90 okay i'm going to have like this or maximum height to be let's say 70 
or a 80 sorry 80 i'm going to have something like this which is what very cool and nice okay so i'll publish it over here okay now i'm done with what my logo now let's go to the menu okay now this is what um this control the menu color the menu settings everything about what about the menu okay so for instance if you make your menu transparent you want to change the color also okay you can use this one to uh, to change it so the link color is this one which i want to make it to uh, let's say black okay and then the link hover i want to make it this one okay and then you know the link um current also i want to uh, make it to uh, this one so as you can see this is the link work current okay and then you know the background link background link background hover and all those things you can what you can play around it okay now drop down if you have you know a sub menu under it that is give you the drop down style you can control the style over here okay the search icon okay you can also what control the search icon um, you know style over here okay and then the drop downs category post you can also control all those things what over here okay now if you want to what um, you know center it you can center it if you want to uh, bring it to the left you can bring it to the left if you want to position it to the right you can what position it to the what to the right okay so you can also you know select what uh, a template for yourself if you created your own template template you can select it over here and then links effect okay now if i hover on it i want to have some kind of effect okay so let's say um i want to have what let's say bracket okay so it's supposed to what um, happen whenever i hover on it so as you can see we have this kind of what um bracket over here okay very nicely what done okay now you can um, you know um use this one to what to control the color of the of the bracket if i want to what maybe just have um underline from what from left i can also what um you know choose that kind of what then so as you can see it is what underline from what from left okay there are a lot of effects that you can what you can um, use so x max um the spot okay so i just want to what max the, that spot so as you can see yeah everything works perfectly so um i can control that one to the color over here okay and then if i want to what just you know let people know that i am um, clicking or hovering on it so when you hover on it this is the effect that will that will happen okay so you can play around with it and there are a lot of customization settings that you can what you can do over here so i just want this underline from um left this one and then i'll change this one to what um this color okay so that when i hover on it it's going to give me what this color okay so um if you are done with it you can what just click on publish over here and then you publish it now let's go back over here and then go to the social menu okay now if you want to enable social menu you can enable it over here and then you know you can add all your social links over here okay all your social links so from twitter facebook pinterest um you know dribble vk instagram linkedin you know all the social what um um uh links that you have okay all the social media um you know platforms that you've joined you can add your links over here okay so let's say we want to add what um facebook okay so let's say we want to add facebook and then we want to also add instagram okay we'll add it over here okay very good so we have our facebook and instagram over here and then let's see, let me give um linkedin to over here okay okay very good so we have added it we've added our social with um you know our social and then the link style too, you can what, choose it and then the social link target to you can also decide to what, choose it the way you want it so when you are done with it just click on what publish okay and then you publish it now let's go to the mobile menu how do you want your mobile menu to also what, behave you can set an optional what logo for it you can set the height you can you know um element position the logo cut link okay however you want it maybe you want what um cut link logo link or link um you know logo cart okay whatever you want to do it you can do that and then a general what 
um, settings so the drop down um, menu style do you want it to be full screen drop down or what sidebar okay however you want it and then you can also what play around everything okay so um styling menu mobile menu okay so the background type and all those things you can decide to to set it up so to style it and to make sure that everything works click on this place over here and then you know click on this one okay so if you want to change the background you can decide to uh, to change the background and make it black and as you can see it is what it is styling it okay so if you want to what uh, change um you know if you want border or length color to you can decide to uh, make the length color also what white okay and that is it so let's say i don't want it to be what um drop down okay i don't want it to be drop down but i want it to be maybe um, a sidebar okay so you can also um you know check that one so if i click over here as you can see it comes as what as a sidebar for me okay so um this is the menu text now if i close this over here this one says what menu okay and that is what the menu text over there now if i don't want a sidebar but i want to a full screen okay on a full screen thing i can also what see it the way i want it so if i um you know if i if i if i click on the menu the full screen what will come and then i can what you know close it anyhow i want it so um basically that is how you can be also make sure that you play around it set up the colors everything for it now if you want to set up what your and uh, the tablet also you can what choose this one and it gives you what the tablet what mode okay the same way um you know um the this this one also gives you the desktop what mode okay so that is it so um after that you can publish it okay and then go back over here so we are done with what our mobile side we are done with the header okay now for the footer it is also similar or for the top bar also you can decide to what either enable it or disable it okay so let's say we want to what um disable the what the top bar we don't want any top bar so you can what um disable it okay and then it will be gone okay so we what we publish it okay so as you can see our social media handles that we added is what is appearing now okay so now that we have everything correctly done um let's say you are going to a footer widget okay now footer this is the widget the widget appears over here and the footer bottom is this one okay so with the widget we have to use what um, um the widget side to control the what the footer widget because i love using the classic widget whenever i'm working with um, you know the footer widget okay so i'm going i'm not going to talk about footer widget i'm going straight to what the footer bottom the footer bottom displays the copyright notice for you okay so um let's say you want to change the copyright you can still change it so um let's say powered by kitech digital okay and that is it and let's say you want to uh, change the what um the background color so this is the background color so let's say i want to change it to let's say red i can still change it to what red okay so i'm going to maintain it to black and then the text color let's say i want to change it to what white okay i can what make it to what white or let's say um this text color okay and then the link color this is what the um, length color okay so with the length color i want to what, make it this one okay and then the length hover also i'll choose what this one so that it what it will match with everything that we are what we are doing okay and that is it so i can click on what publish over here okay to publish it so guys as you can see i'm going into details about what everything so that you understand everything um you know about ocean wp what customization settings okay so now the la last but one left is what the sidebar okay now with the sidebar over here you can you know choose the sidebar background that you want so if you want it to be black as you can see it is what it is black over here okay um let's give it to the default word um color okay and then you know the the widget the widget um you know heading tag okay um background color okay so the rigid background color so let's say you want it to be what um this color over here okay you can what you can you know choose any color that you want okay so i want it to be the default one i'm just clearing it and then you know the titles borders and then what 
the titles and then um, titles border color okay so you can set up your what, your title border color and then the margins and all those things you can also what set it up over here so this one controls the what the sidebar you can also check it over here and then the last one is the what the custom css okay so if you have any you know custom code or custom css or custom you know um anything html code that you want to what, um paste it over here to change something for you you can you know bring it over here for it to, to work for you so guys i have gone into details everything you need to know about what the customization settings of ocean wp okay i basically talked about the um the whole settings itself and then went into more details about the header and then also talks about everything that you need to know about it okay so i hope this one will help you to be able to what um, you know use this free theme over here now ocean wp is free it has so much functionalities that you can what you can do around with okay so if this video helps you i hope that you give me a thumbs up and then you know subscribe to the channel if you haven't share this video for other um you know um other people to also know it now let me know your comments below what do you think about ocean wp okay what do you think about ocean wp and what are some of your um you know your your um your themes free themes that you also what you also use for me i use ocean wp i use cadence and i use what astra okay so my next video is going to be about how to customize the cadence what um cadence team and then use all those you know free team to create amazing websites for your client and then also for yourself okay now if you have this free team your charge will be what reasonable for your client okay and that is why i do lots of videos about free things okay so thank you for subscribing to my channel and thank you for watching this video see you in the next video please comment below let me know the kind of what um theme that you use and then how you are able to uh, go around it okay comment below thank you bye bye